Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Puff Drink Talk podcast. Your host again, Conrad Schubach here. Dylan Wilson. Hilton Gill. And George. And today... And today... <laughs> George, I love that intro. <laughs> and today we are going to be smoking, drinking... Cheers. Cheers. Trying to, to free my mind. And and talking about some football, free for your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then, foot, uh, the football sound. all the way today. I've been sitting here just wasting time. Oh, Smoking, okay. drinking, try to free, free my, my mind. mind. All right, so it's Kid Rock. Yeah. And that's a Kid Rock song. George is a huge Trump supporter, loves Kid Rock also. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's like... You see that, Dan? He's, you know, a, you know he's such Kid a Rock diehard loves. Trump guy. Yeah. Loves Kid Rock. Rock yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, but, but it doesn't mean right, so it doesn't mean anything. Oh, But anyways, so no, today's uh, today's yeah. podcast, uh, we're going to be going over strictly football. Um, we had a very, very fun... Week 18, for some of us, for for me, Seahawks were eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, Chicago could not beat the Packers, which would have put them into the playoffs. But, but it see, is what it is. Seahawks won the game. Or yeah. not? Se- yes. Seahawks Sox won the won. game. So they needed two scenarios to happen. They needed to win the game, and then they needed the Chicago, Chicago Bears, Bears to win. To beat the combination uh, of results, the combination of those two factors needed to put them into the playoffs. One of the two happened, which prevented them from going into the wild card or into the playoff situation. So, uh, and then also it is it was Black Monday or the firing week of the teams that didn't get into the playoffs. So, is that a thing? That is a thing. I think that's that's like a non name. That's why. you know, we've been researching on what subject would be, and Corin normally brings the, the the content, and it's like, I was just checking on. Uh, let me put this camera in. I was just checking on the Google Trends, and, and it's like, constantly every single day since not this Friday, but the previous are like week seventeen, just like football, football people, you know, researching you know various topics about it, and, and it's like. Should we try and put some clarity on at least me that I don't know much I and mean, it's my first year ever following football without even watching a game, just a few and be highlights. Honest, and be honest, do you <clears throat> do you enjoy football? Do you enjoy watching football? And... I I liked it. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's a it's a time thing. Yeah. You know, when I have time, I go and smoke a cigar instead of watching. The <laughs> right. No, but uh, I've I've watched some uh, highlights and some uh, games. Yeah, yeah, but um, I like I like the strategy. Uh, we went to to watch here uh, at high school local here. Yeah, because my daughter uh, every year they do this cheer where the uh, you know the girls are starting, and it's the first year my daughter is doing like cheer practice, and then uh, and she's she's doing fly, so and then it was a game. Uh, Against, I forgot now. Anyway, so, so it's two it, local high schools. Yeah, two local. Um, uh, is it high school? Yes, high, high school. Uh-huh. And uh, we watched it uh, over there, and it was pretty cool. So, yeah, you know, I kind of like it. Yeah. It's a fun thing. Yeah. yeah. What about you, George? Are you enjoying football, American football? <laughs> I'm not following the way I would like to. Uh-huh. Um, probably now, just like everybody does with basketball, probably more people are interested in the playoffs than in regular season right can I, can I assume that yeah yeah right. it's not that the number goes as down as as basketball it's 82 games you know it's hard to follow and you have to follow everything so many games right, right. 82 games only. 82 games per club per team yeah every team plays 82 but you know how many games each baseball team play no. it's 100, it's 100 something yeah, 110, 120. Yeah. And in, in a shorter period. So it's every day. They play every day. That's why those guys make so much money, though, because the advertisements. Exactly. Look. And the money in the stadium look, it's, for him. I, I don't want to be polemic, but I don't think baseball should be considered sport. It should be considered 
entertainment of the highest level <laughs> possible. Because I love it. I like it. You I, like baseball? Okay. I like it. All right. I like it. I'm just saying that it's not an athletic sport. Why? His son plays it. I, I no, man. I love I, for sure playing. I know. As I said, it would be polemic, man. And I'm here to take some hits. You, okay, I'm here to take hits. I, I'm, I'm interested to hear. What's your take on golf? <laughs> do I need to have a take on how, golf? How do we Look, compare golf is, to snooker? Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna. I was it, just gonna it say It is that super too. Inter- All of them are super entertaining. <laughs> entertaining. Right. They should be posed in a different category. You know, so if you're dif- dividing like is active physically exactly. to like less Co-active. active, is, yeah. and look, think about hockey. What, I think it was Saki. No, no, it wasn't talk- talking to you. It was somebody else. The the violence is part of rock uh, of hockey. You, it doesn't make any sense if you go there, <laughs> which is crazy because so many kids love the game. <laughs> you yeah. know, so. Uh, um, yeah, so I think I would put them in a rugby, yeah, for American football, and all the martial arts and boxing. You know, it's, it, would be, it would be one. The violent category. The violent, yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot of categories. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so soccer then, it's it's level two then because it's not that violent. It, just... it was. It was once in the seventies, in the sixties, in the forties, but not anymore. But now right. you know. Any opponent looks at Neymar and he, he drops on the floor. Yes. Yeah. There's a joke that says like, "Oh, I don't know, my print, my my printer is not working. Oh, Neymar is rolling on the floor. Is he? <laughs> he he right, rolls on the, the floor for anything, anything. you say. Run anything. out of water. Well, that's when Neymar is rolling on the floor. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but basketball people also always all the time say, you know, like how soft the game has become. Um, Think about hack shack times where Shaquille O'Neal was the biggest basketball Buller. player, and he would just go down, and everyone would just slap him, and, and they would call it hack shack Exactly. Where they would foul him to put him out on the foul line because if he, not, because he, he wouldn't. Free throw. He wouldn't. Yeah, do a he free could, throw. Yeah. He, he was one of the worst free throwers in, in, in history. But if you threw it to him, I mean, all he'd have to do was just elbow you Bully, in the chest. Yes. And, you know, and dunk it, and that's elbow it. his way out to the into the basket, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I saw yesterday actually funny you mentioning that because yesterday I I saw like a um, a short video on uh, on YouTube and it was like uh, in the eighties basketball wasn't the same. These guys would get into fights. Oh yeah, they were like throw a punch on, on each other. Oh yeah, know, after a, a foul. But because it wasn't like a foul, like, uh, yeah. like, oh, sorry, I a fouled slight you. Touch, it was yeah. like, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. They would grab and pull it like this. <clears throat> I select. By the way, I selected a, a one video that I would, would, you know, like since Hilton told that uh, by the time we finish with football, we would be talking about other sports. Yeah. I selected one video about basketball that I would like you guys to watch. Which which video is it? It's a video. No, surprise! 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 Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay well, but I'll send you. I'll send you guys for the next. You know, in the future. Yeah. It's a eighteen-minute video. Yeah. Oh, it's, so it's a it's, it's, it's a long video explaining things. Oh no! It's just like so many evidences, so many evidences of my argument but that, that was the it's un, undeniable. It's mm-hmm. undeniable. I would say I don't want to exaggerate, but about what the goat? More than no, you said not to say it. Anything? You just as well. No, I'm it. curious about it. <laughs> it's an 18 just freaking it minutes. It. I know, I know. It's totally worth it. It's totally worth. It. I mean, for someone who <laughs> likes, held suckered in. He's like, yeah, let's pull it. I want to know it. more. <laughs> tell right. me, no, no, don't tell me. Don't, don't tell, tell me. me. Yeah. <laughs> pull it up I can tell. I can, I can say it's just that how the rules changed, the, the, the game changed. Mm. Oh yeah. And how and why the scores now are. I think the Bulls, right. the Bulls today would be the twenty. Which was at that time was number one in offense. Today they would be twenty sixth mm. in offense. So even the worst teams today are scoring way more. And then he creates a narrative, really concatenated, 
of all of the elements of why it's happening now today. Oh, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Amazing. I mean, I'd, li I'd like to go on that, you know, down that path. Yeah, to, I would too. To understand all that. A deep dive. This one. It's the same way. This, this one. If, you know, if one day um, we get to talk about Formula One and like, you know, how many points the team I, and, I, and, yeah. and the drivers are scoring. Yeah. Do you know some of the stars? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, Formula One, you know, before it was about nine points, right? And you, we had the discussion. Nine points. Yes. It was nine, nine points, points in the first place. <laughs> so it was nine, six, four. Three, two, one. Yeah, exactly. So and the only one, six the, the people position. would score points. And yes. now, um, after 20, you know, 10th place or something like that. I, I don't know. It's 20, 18, and then you have a plus one for, um, you know, a previous day, something like that. Yes. Um, so it's like it, you cannot compare. Yeah, there's a train going. So if uh, the microphone picks it up, I'm going to try to clear that uh, background noise. I was but, just looking to see if it's yeah. picking it up there. Yeah. It is picking it up, but uh, I think it will clear it up. It is. It's crazy. Um, yeah, the, the train's going, and it's just here. It's, really? Yeah, it's about probably what, 14 feet from us. Yeah, that might could pick up like a mouse fart, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 so <laughs> if it's George talking, it's a Trump fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then people saying like, um, you know, right. you cannot do a comparison on. Uh, point scoring you'd have to have like a level playing field like okay so you want to use today's scores you have to go back and give points to all of the races that didn't have those points right at the time and recalculate that probably AI yeah, can do that easy but hmm interesting to yeah. find out which you know how you know how many points would uh, for example Chicago Bulls would be scoring on a, on today's game compared to the <clears throat> compared to what it was in the 80s with um, the Jordan playing. Right, like right, right. How the NBA continues to make scoring easier. That's yeah. Thing. Not thinking thinking about uh, easier, yes. Um, <clears throat> what did you say? It's not unique to the NBA. No, no. Um, it's just uh, from this from this channel, Thinking Basketball. Hmm. It has books on it. Um, he, Man, he makes sense of his statistics. That's the only thing I have to say. I don't, I, I don't have to explain much more of that, right? Yeah. Like, not meaningless statistics. It's There's always a story behind the statistics. Oh, that's know? cool. So that's good. This guy, is, if, if I say, hey, recommend one website of basketball, it would be Thinking Basketball. Thinking Basketball. Cool. Yeah, I've noticed that trend in multiple sports. I think viewers like high-scoring games. They like to see touchdowns to be scored they like to see 120 point basketball games that looks really nice. so they've made football <laughs> a lot more catered towards the offense yeah. and it's much more difficult for the defense why more touchdowns more big plays long throws it's more exciting for the viewer and right the brand by where the goal is we have way more brands being sold right so no, that image, yeah. that image is gonna yeah. multiply. You know, it's gonna show. It's gonna be shown about, like, thousands if, of times. If soccer made a rule or something like the offsides penalty, if they tweaked that or something, that made it much easier to score a goal. So every time you watch ha a game, having two goals, right? Two goals or like goal when you're keepers. kicking it and it's offsides, <laughs> they change it to where instead of like any body part being offsides, maybe it's like your entire body. So if like your whole body but your ankle. No, that's fair play. Well, they if, did something if like you that. elect yourself to be a receiver, that you cannot be marked as outside. Only the second player. Anything. Well, the mm -hmm. result and it results in more goals. You no, know, like people would like that. <laughs> so you hey, mean in soccer, right? The so guys fun. are talking about soccer, right? Yes. Right. So uh, one of these days, I will explain one of the reasons why this doesn't happen. There's a reason. There is a tradition behind the uh, uh, football, football association. Sure. How it's voted. To, mm -hmm. to change a rule, to change rule, I rule, because different from other sports, soccer is probably the most famous collective sport in the world, mm -hmm. and sure. whatever they do affect two billion people. So, in order to keep uh, it uh, playable, equal, uh, equal and affordable, um, you you must have very simple rules. Mm -hmm. That's why. Um, I, I lived in London in. 20, I, I got the message. I got the message. What's that? 
Is that only stupid people play football, <laughs> like <laughs> soccer? It's got to be really simple. I'm putting words in your mouth. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> It has yeah. to be simple because no, no, it's actually, you can all be clever. I was going to say that it's actually some <laughs> rules. If you're new to the I, game, you're like, what the fuck's going on right here? I have no I, idea. Yeah, that's yeah. my point. I mean, I, I, I would go. I, I understand what you said, but I would go on the on the other way around. It's just like that's an old sport. It's still popular, but yeah. for how long? You know, soccer. You know, because scoring new new or one one new. That's what, to me, and I didn't grow up watching soccer, really, or playing it, so it's boring. If I, I'm, I don't want to watch guys run around for two hours and nobody score a goal. So the only time I ever watch soccer is the World Cup, every four years. Is it supposed to be the best of the best? You know, and I get into years. it, and I obviously root for the United States of America, and then when they get inevitably knocked out, then I pick another team, and then I just watch, and I enjoy it. I genuinely enjoy watching that. But I don't ever watch MLS. Yeah. And I see there are some games where somebody will score five goals or something. It just never happens to be the ones that I'm watching. Yeah, you see that? Uh, actually, the whole idea of bringing Messi to the MLS. Yeah. If you see the score, if, if you see the number of goals his his team scored. It's, no, the, the results of the games, 5-4, 4-3. Man, 5-4, it would be, what, 9 times 7. That would be 63 points in the game. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's a big score. For soccer. But 5-4 means much more than 63 points in total in, in American football. Right. Uh, 28 to 20, uh, 28 to 30. 28, that's, 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 that's it, right? That's a 32, 34. Is it very high or this is high? It's uh, unusual, completely yeah. unusual. If you're talking about two top-tier <clears throat> teams, as equally as one team could be good on offense, the other team could be equally good on defense. Okay. So people always say, like, in the NFL, very hard to win because the level of skill is in a huge variation. As in college, you could have it's some teams that are all around the league. better. Yeah. But in the league, it's like instead of mountains and valleys, it's like little tiny hills of yes. difference in skill level. Right. Um, so, yeah, in a Super Bowl, like a 35-point game to like a 30-point, that's a – pretty big score yeah, so, it keeps okay. you entertained that's right you get more than that it's like well that's icing on the cake it's when you get like these 10 to 3 games where you're like, oh, fuck. It's, it's just a defensive battle which is still it's impressive it's not mm -hmm. it's not fun for people to watch that aren't diehard football fans right and everyone needs icons in games we all want a story right so the games are pretty much end in the great scale of things only for us, it makes, oh, it's cool to see the play. But for someone who doesn't play, oh, yeah, it was another another great play, another great play. But we don't want this. What we want is uniqueness. This is what we want in, in a championship, right? We want that team that classified in, oh, I don't know, you know, 16th position to win. We want the that underdog. Story. The we underdog want the story. underdog, you know? We want that, that um, uh, tricky play that uh, it's really difficult to achieve. Like, you know, somebody did, I did see, you know, how they did the pass or how they caught the pass or something like that. You know, that's the other thing that also, on any sport, actually, uh, you know, makes it interesting as well as just, like, you know, seeing them scoring the points. Because, for example, it's like Formula One, just, you know, circling back as, as well. Some, some races, it's like, you know there's not going to be any overtaking, but it's still fun to watch yeah. when you really like it because you're going to go like, man, that corner is the most difficult one to do. You know what I mean? And then you see all the cars doing the corner like over and over again. And every now and again, one is making a mistake over there. And it gives that hint of an opportunity for somebody to overtake. And the overtake doesn't happen uh, just because it doesn't. Because it's not uh, long enough, um, straight uh, or, or whatever or the engine is not powerful enough, or the car is coming behind, from behind. But it's still, you know, it gives you that next time, oh, it could crash in there, something like that. So, right. well, it's like that. <clears throat> anyway, um, what I like it the, the most about American football, more than the other sports, is that there are serious, seriously, there are serious, what, 10 contenders in this sport. The, 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 the games are so close. It's hard to tell who's going to win, you know, like... Well, there's a statistic that's uh, really difficult for the same team win twice or something like that, right? On the roll. 
A Super Bowl? Yeah. Like um like a back to back win. Oh, okay. Titles, rings. Okay. Um Right. Am in I, basketball right? it's really rare. It's really hard in basketball. Unless there is a dynasty. Then man, to win two, it's almost considered a dynasty nowadays. Yeah. Well, I, but I think that's with any sport, though. Because, I mean, uh, when was the last time... Not in Formula 1, there's always one car that's always winning. That's all, yeah. And then it takes three, four, sometimes five years. Before another... You know, before another team. team. Um, there was a nice run there. Alabama was winning every national title for the longest time. And then maybe there'd be one other team sneaking in there. But for the past however long, it's just been Alabama on top. Like Ten a dynasty years. team. <laughs> it was... What College, college football. College fo- fo- football. Hmm? And, and then you get into like the NFL. The Patriots were like a dynasty team for a really long time. They, well, how long? But how many years? Seven did, years. Patriots. The, yeah, but how many? Uh, yeah, I, I know that um, Brady has oh, no, Brady seven, had, seven rings, yeah. right? But how many f- years has he played? 21 years, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mom, maybe. Yeah, about 20 years. Uh, about 20 years. Because he's 45, right? Six of those rings were with New England. Yes, in one in, in, in Tampa. One in Tampa. In Tampa, right. yeah. Tampa Bay, right. But what I'm saying is that six rings. So they got six rings in how long? In 20 years. That's pretty good. Yeah. And that is a dynasty. You see, yeah. you see the perception of how hard it is to actually uh, a back-to-back a three-peat? Think about a three-peat. Yeah. The last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, I wasn't even alive. You see that? What about Seahawks? Uh, 2012. Okay. Yeah. And All they right. could have won in 2014. But against the Patriots. Against the but Patriots. But you notice that it's also, on the one hand, it's really hard to do a back-to-back <laughs> or a three-peat, right? right? On the other hand... Those strong teams, especially in large markets, they can keep the players. Maybe it's easier for them to get that, like a Los Angeles Lakers, so which is a mammoth. Did right? the Warriors win back to back? Once, yes, once, they won, yeah. only once. They lost it to the Raptors and to the, and to the, the Cleaver Cavaliers. The Cavaliers, meanwhile, in between. But see, I almost feel like basketball is going to be easier because circling back to a previous conversation. Soccer and and basketball are, are both sports where your player plays offense and defense. So if you have a superstar like Steph Curry, who's phenomenal, shoots lights out offense wise, defense wise he's okay, but he's, okay you know, he, he's not terrible. No, he's not terrible. So if you stack a team around Steph Curry to shine, they're going to make it very deep into the playoffs, win championships, etc. The thing is with football is you have you you have three teams to one football team. Yes. You have your offense and then you put those people off to the side, you put defense. And then if you put then you put those people to the side, you have special teams. If all three of those teams aren't in sync, you're going to have a or aren't coached well. Or if you have one superstar on defense, that doesn't I mean that's one person out of 11. You know, you can't you can't win a championship out, out of you know out of that. Mm-hmm. And then the next year, oh well, yeah, I'm a cowboy this year, and I'm going to be a Seahawk next year because Seattle's going to pay me more money. And then you just go, and then that team just goes down the drain. You're going to give a lot of money to a guy like Joey Burrow, and then he gets injured and completely alters your season. Um, yeah. So yeah. I feel like I feel like American football is going to be a little bit harder to have those dynasties, and I think that's what's pretty amazing about Tom Brady and what he was able to accomplish mm-hmm. was that they built it wasn't not not only was it was building around him but it was also the mindset it was also coach Belichick who could coach these people and be like listen we're all here to win championships if you want on board say goodbye to your family for the next like eight months because we're here non-stop focusing on football you're going to become, you know, a, a Super Bowl champion. If not, go play for a different team. I could care less. And they just built that mentality and that environment around for offense and defense and special teams. I mean, they had, honestly, some of the best coaches. They had some of the best players that have ever played on both sides, offense and defense. But Adam Vinatieri, special cre- teams. Adam Vinatieri, um, there's a ton of people that are all, 
going to end up as probably first ballot Hall of Famers. But um, they just created a culture of winning. And so yeah. once you've done it once or twice, there was – people talk about it now. Like, there's no incentive to go to New England anymore because you can't go play with Tom anymore. That was the incentive. Yes. A bunch of people were taking team-friendly deals. They were going to make less money, but they were – they were trophy hunting to a degree. They wanted to go out and get a Super Bowl. So you'd have a bunch of like veteran guys that instead of trying to sign a five year, they're all taking one year deals, lower amounts of money. We're going to go play with Tom and let's go get a fucking ring. Yeah. I'm not here to get rich. I've gotten rich. Not like they're not still making millions, but instead of making 40 million, I'm going to make, you know, 12 million this year, but let's go get a ring. And they're just out there hunting rings. And then once you've done it once or twice. 12 million. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but yeah, the point, God, the, the point is how much did, did how much you how believe. much did is that ring cost me twenty four million dollars. It did. Yeah. It cost and me twenty four million dollars. That you yes. didn't receive, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, probably also they're man, it's nothing is for free, okay? They no, cut other deals inside. with the team. Probably mm -hmm. the the image rights of the player. Right. Right. So probably you're gonna have more percentage. Um, probably, man. If you've played in the NFL for maybe eight years and you're you've made uh, let's say you make ten million a year, you, you've accrued eighty million dollars. Yes, you could go make another twenty million dollars if you played for another four, whatever it is. Or some of those guys they played for eight years, they've been on shitty teams, dealt with shitty coaches and teammates, and gotten close but never won. They want to go get. That then rate. they are role players that and they're super. The value. The role pool. Is in basketball, they, they talk about that role about the role players, right? Yeah. So the players that are not, um, you know, the first team. Then West Westbrook is a case in basketball. You know, like he's been coming from the bench since he played for the, you know, for other teams, and it, it happens. That um, that just happened last week after the game. A reporter was asking Jamar Chase right after the game. Um, they're knocked out of playoffs. They're done. The season's over. Um, what are you gonna do with your, your contract, man? How do you want to restructure your deal? Do you want to take less money so that your teammate T. Higgins can get paid more, and then y'all can blah blah blah? Like, and he's like, uh, you know, that's a question for my agent. Really, it's not a question for me. I don't, I don't handle all of that stuff. But what what if you turn that around the other way? Do you want to give up your job and have someone else ask the questions so you can let someone else make some money instead of you? It's the same thing you're asking me. Yeah. So. Yeah, he could have done that. It's just, it, they just <laughs> lost. They're, they just lost, and they're going out of the out of the playoffs. They don't want yeah, to talk some, about some that right now. It's a stupid question yeah, to ask somebody. Like, and he handled it very well. Yeah. He could have been an asshole. He wasn't. But, but it's like this idea could have, of... He could have been correct. But, uh, why be... And that's how they, they present it. They're like, oh, why don't you do a team-friendly deal? And then it's like, well, where are you in your career? If you're a young guy just getting off your rookie contract, go <laughs> get paid, dude. Go Because when are you going to get an opportunity to do that again? You have a good season. You're putting up good numbers. You use those numbers to get a big deal. And ath athleticism is only finite. It's one of those things that you're not you running have, like that at 35. Exactly. You only have max oh, 10 know. years. Yeah, we know. Certain position, you only have 10 years. Other positions, you have way less. Yeah, running think, back, you, I think you it's only four have four or five years, and that's it. Average. You peak, and then you go downhill. Mm -hmm. and because I mean, that position, it's a lot of wear and tear. Yeah. I think I think what is very interesting in football um, is the injuries. Uh, not because it's interesting to see somebody getting injured, but it's okay, yeah. the shot, that it's changed. Be very clear, right? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> injuries are going to happen, but because that changed, it. it changed the the rest Outcome. of the season yes. the Outcome, for a team. Yes. And if the injury happens on the first game, like you know, Dylan was just mentioning, like somebody, Aaron Rodgers, a very high paid, very good player, uh, and cannot play, yeah. Like, okay, so when are you gonna play now? Next year. Yeah. You know what I mean? And imagine being a GM of a team that you just structured your whole season around this one guy. You brought in all these other players as his supporting cast, and John Moran in basketball. Like, oh God, this Oops. is gonna be a John Moran. Oh Jamaran. yeah, Jamaran. He just got injured in his practice. In the, in the in he's practice. out for the season. He's off, yeah. yeah. He's out for the whole season, and then. But that's an interesting story with yes. him, anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a yeah. He's an interesting. But man, uh, his look, first game back was pretty electric. Yeah. Yeah, but let me tell you something. 
Yeah, I, I know. You saw that. Come I on, right him. after being in court for, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And serving that suspension. Yeah, and he was, his team was 18-4, 18-4 before he started. Yeah. With him is 7-2. Yeah. Since he started playing? Yeah, against strong teams. Yeah. He wasn't like, oh, no, he wasn't playing yeah, against no. Detroit's and... Yeah, and you know, like Charlotte Hornets. No, no, they are playing against Boston Celtics. They Denver. Are Denver. They they beat the Denver. You know, you know what I'm saying? They were yeah. eight men, four eighteen to seven two, and they lost. You, yeah. Anyway, this guy went on like a live stream with his buddies. Yes. One of his buddies went on like Instagram Live or something. And he Twice, had, right? So it's, it happened multiple times, <laughs> and uh, they kept giving him like a gun, and he was just like. Showing off a gun in a car. I saw that. So that was uh, detrimental behavior. Yes. So After he it, it was recent, so he he, he had know, already gotten a warning for it. He did it again. Yeah. Yeah. Tw- I remember you showed me. Twenty five games out. So then he, yeah. he got suspended twenty five games. His yeah. very first game back had a good game. Hit like a nice shot or like a game winner or something like that. And last then, second. Last second. He he was, and his celebration was. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 And his contract is two hundred twenty million dollars. Just, just to, that's to the joke, right? right? And then out for the season with an injury. Like you just can't write this stuff. Any, any, like that sucks. Nobody you want to see get injured and go out, but it's just like the storyline of that is so crazy. It is. And then you, you when you watch it, a fictional movie, you see, nah, that would never happen. And then believe me, it it's better than it movies. It like does. this guy, what this guy is doing is better than movies because he could be the face of the league. If he plays alongside or not, if he changes really from good. Memphis to Miami Heat mm-hmm. or to... Did you see what happened with Miami Heat's uh, coach? Oh, the... He got a contract extension? Yeah, exactly. He's going to be the coach for 25 years. That is, it's, it's the biggest deal with an yes, NBA it, coach ever, ever in the history of the NBA. And he has just been going through a, a divorce. Exactly. And she was going after all of his money. And they paused the deal until after the divorce went through. It all was finalized, and then they immediately paid that dude 120 million. Guys, <laughs> let's let's put your hands together to Miami Heat uh, administration yeah. who has done that. Yeah, I'm a fan. Wow. <laughs> I'm a fan of Miami. Yeah. They have had the Heat. Uh, yeah, the Heat culture is that you hear about all the time. Yeah, yeah. The Heat culture is they take know, care of their guys. You know what they say? Never buy role players. Never ever buy, buy role players from Miami Heat. How come? Because first of all, the the coach takes the most out of those those guys. He's probably top three, maybe the best. And then if they are getting rid of a role player, believe me, there is something going on. Yeah, they're past their. Point. So never, never. So they have a hard time negotiating the role players because they know that something's wrong. You never, you never give up to the market. Yeah. So, those are cool, cool stories, man. So, going back to football, because that's what we said that we we're going to talk about. <laughs> we, yeah, we went all you over You went to sports. Formula One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, to I, everything. I, I have my true. share, I have because I was asking you about the basket. The yeah. basketball is not you. It's, it's like, it's the conversation goes. But uh, why is it considered the, the week that uh, people get fired uh, this particular week? You want to take it? You want me to take it? Uh, you can go ahead. After a sip. All right. This is Puff. Drink and talk. <laughs> so he puffed, he drank, and now he's going to talk. You take it down a story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Strap in. throughout the season, 18 weeks, lots of things happen, lots of storylines. Yeah. And owners, coaches, GMs, buttheads. And it really is something that should be put off till now, but sometimes the tension grows to be so much that you get a middle of the season fire, which we've seen a, a couple we've this seen, year. Yeah. And you get those every year, one or two, sometimes more. I think we had like at least two that I remember. Um, the Raiders got rid of their head coach yeah. this season and the Chargers. The Chargers. That I remember so far. Um, that's the, the two that I... Yeah, everything else has been player related. Yeah. Like, quarterbacks going down and getting moved around. Um, anyways, it's the first opportunity for you to call on out of respect. Um, like, for example, all these teams that have been eliminated before even going into Week 18, those coaches 
you don't necessarily know are they going to be fired? Are they going to walk away mutually? You don't know what's going to go on. But if you're interested in them, out of respect, even though they're technically, you wait till the season's over before you approach and start trying to do business. So it's, it's a statement. It's referred to as Black Monday because it's the Monday after the final game, so on Sunday. And in the NFL, it's all business, and it's quick, so they do not waste any time. So probably following that game, I'm sure there are some people that start making moves, but you know, Monday morning, they're calling people. They're firing people because those teams want to make sure everybody knows that they're accepting offers. So you can't, you can't actually lure another Because yeah, you can't go off the, No, you can't see, lure. that's important there. That's yeah, yeah. called, uh, there's a name for it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not, I know in it's not encroachment or anything. In, in basketball, it's, it's the like same the name. Tampering. Right? Tampering. You tampering. can't do that. Yes, so there's rules and stuff that yes, the tampering. NFLPA that they all agreed to. I had the word entrapment in my mind yeah. for some reason. <laughs> yeah, tampering. It could become tampering. entrapment yeah. if the right person yeah. sets you up. Yeah, yeah really. The wrong person yeah. sets you up. You were so a little but, bit sneaky. Yeah. 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 No, you can't tamper, so you have you have yeah, to wait yes. till, till that time. So that's why. And it's kind of like a universal, like, hey, we're taking offers. If you want to be our head coach, come. And now they've made it to where if you want to come be a head coach, like a new, you have to do two official visits. It has to go through this, like, official channel now. So it's not as easy as unless you've already had someone in the works. You can't fire someone and hire a new coach anymore. Um, unless you've just been working with that person, and then it's not happening as often. So it's going to be interesting to see. Like, Tennessee fired their coach. Um, Which I like Mike Graham. Like, he's going to get a job very quickly. Atlanta yeah. Falcons fired their coach. Seattle fired their coach. So there are 30 oh, yeah. positions, right? There are 30 positions. 32. 32 positions, right? Uh-huh. 32, 32 teams. 32 teams. But 30, 32 positions to be the, to the be head, head coach. coach. Oh, 32 okay. head coach. I see what you're saying. How yes. many... People are involved in coaching in in, in America. <laughs> so it's, Millions. It, so it's a very tough job, Major man. Competitive and very uh, tough. And once you're in, you want to do a good job. Otherwise, man, there are so many other people trying to take your place. So what's interesting is if you look into it, it's not an easy transition going from college to NFL. There's only been a select few coaches that have been successful in both. Pete Carroll, the one who just got fired from Seattle, is one of the select few that has won a Super Bowl, and a national championship in college as well. Yeah. So um, this is this is rare. That's what you're saying. It is rare. Yes. It's supposed to be very um, honorable. Who's another? Nick Saban? Did he win a Super Bowl? Mm. Honorific. But I don't think he was head coach. He was like an assistant coach for the Jets or something. Right. And I can't remember. And then... Um, but I know he if he, if he, if he did white. win a Super Bowl, it wasn't as a head coach. There's another one that wow. was like an Oklahoma Good taste. I like, head I like coach it. or something. Like, really enjoy it. I can't remember his name, but I just saw it on... Um... Pardon my take. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Because uh, they were talking about it too. But it's a rare thing. So it's a, it's a rare kind of accolade you can put on your resume. So it's interesting that he got fired. Um, but if you read into it, he's not just fired. Like, he's still going to be involved in the front office. Yeah, he's for he, now. They least. they put him into an advisor role. Honestly, I think it was because the GM uh, Schneider is his name, mm-hmm. and Pete Carroll are like best buds. Uh, and, and I mean, Pete Carroll's been there for 14 years. He he knows the in and outs of that organization. I mean, he built that organization, you know, to what it is. And I think, honestly, it was one of those things where it was like a mutual understanding. Let us fire you, but we'll keep you on payroll. I'm sure there was some negotiation. Pete Carroll's 74 years old. He's old, yeah. He's old. It's crazy, but, I mean, he's in fantastic health. He's always he running really up is. and down. Running up and down. I mean, he practices with his guys. Puts the gloves on, shags balls for the he, quarterback. He, well, he used to play quarterback, too. So this this guy probably oh that was this he he ran some of the uh, scout team offensive drills. Yeah. Like he would be like the scout quarterback for the uh, starting defense. Think about that, man. You say like At oh seventy something. I am in a business. Yeah, I am. I am in business for twenty years. This guy, man, I am in this business since I was six. Yeah. This guy is gonna say, hey, I well, I am in business for I've been in business for seventy is sixty eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Since you were a kid, he's been playing football and dreaming about football and wanting for to do... sixty. We yeah. gotta find out who that coach guy is. The, the one at oh. the cigar lounge. Yeah, we'd have to go ask. 
You, you, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. similar to like yeah. uh, like Christian McCaffrey. His dad played in the NFL, so he's been around NFL players his whole entire life. To him, Shannon Sharp really is Uncle Shannon. Like, yeah, that's just how he's always known him. And now he's in the NFL playing, and he's an elite player. Anybody yeah. would trade for him. Anybody. Yeah. Elite. And so he's going to be one of those guys that, like, his entire life, he will just be around football, his football family, like the Harbaugh's. I want to, I want to, I want to have this the conversation, this, this conversation of what I'm going to say now in, in our next meeting. Otherwise, this one is going to extend too much. Okay? Just write it in and say yeah. it, and then yeah, Brad is a it's note. about Shannon Sharp because uh, I, I I follow him in basketball, so he navigated skip. to basketball for for four years. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. 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 Skip, 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 oh, skip. skip. Right. Oh, skip. <laughs> He's got that cigar, Hennessy. Exactly, man. He, I love Uncle Shannon. Oh, Shay, he Shay. is. Shay Shay. Shay Shay. And we got to get him on the pod. He is he, probably he's a model. That would be he, now he's modeling together, you know, like with this funded funnedness because he's always so well dressed. Man, this right. guy he's dresses up to the nine. My goodness, the finesse. Well, also, right. I think anything would look good on him, too, though, because he's just an in-shape guy. Yeah. Like, he, but he, he wears these rings, amazing right? suits, and he just... I think so. I think he won three Super Bowls with... He's in the, the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah right? His Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah. And he's... Oh, man, uh, I know a lot of stories with him, like, his personal story is a different thing, but his career, man, because I've seen so many episodes that now I know a lot about him. I know more about him about the way he speaks about football than anything else, you know? Like, yeah. Yes. So I wish, I w we wish him big success in this business, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think we could transition to this because there are actually a lot of storylines in almost all of these games, uh, minus maybe one or two. All right. So there is some. I have not prepared uh, a new scene for. Uh, the playoffs. Well, if you make one and like enter it in here, you can. Otherwise, I can do it. I it's can still a it. battle of the logos. It's but just, uh, what should we call play it? Edition. If I, if yeah, I, uh, there you go. If I create it's a new scene so instead of battle of the logo, what do we <laughs> original? <do>? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can do a play on wild card. You know, something to do a wild card. Yeah. What is the wild card? Um, okay, so was it 2020 when they transitioned it to seven teams? Make It's a yes. seven seeds on each side. It used to be only six teams got in. And after 2020, they changed it to where seven teams got in. And the number one seed gets the home by round one. So they changed the playoffs a little bit. Do you, can you pull up like a, a structure of it and, and we can kind of show? We are going to be doing the battle of the logo, which could be the battle of something else. Uh, <laughs> but got, yeah, I let's see what the structure is. Here. I'm trying to find a book. Um, these are just the teams playing each other. This is a structure of the seating. Um, but, it's not in a bracket format. Right. But, I mean, to that point, like Dylan was saying, Seven teams. It, it switched from seven or went went from six to seven teams per side. Now per side, AFC and NFC. Now the first teams, first ranked teams. So the Ravens and the 49ers right. get a bye week. Wow! They do not Prior get to, to play. That's that a was, lot. A what? A week you get out. A, you get a week off. My God! To rest. Week rest. Out of the game. Off. While yeah. other people are playing, and then you are playing at home for the entirety. Yeah. of the playoffs so long as you win of course um huge huge advantage uh, and that, i mean it's only been it was not a thing prior to 2020 so so dylan said huge advantage i disagree i think it is advantage but i don't think it's a huge advantage because we have seen in the past where sorry to contradict you on this but adding my own two cents in here We've seen where the first teams have taken that week off. But the way you're saying this is almost like two dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm being a pretentious <laughs> asshole. I, I completely. I completely he goes know. from polite to an asshole very fast. Right? <laughs> a polite asshole. Yeah, I'm polite not, asshole. Right? But no, so he winks at you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to put like, Hey man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you how you're wrong. You son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> but no. So we've seen where the, the time for a rebuttal. <laughs> Bring it at me. 
where the first uh, uh, where the first team who have taken that week off play the next week and lose and they completely lose and it looks like that week off the players were partying the players were just True. not into it. Ah, they went to Mexico. They, they went to always the Cuba. pluses and minuses, man. There's always there the pluses was. and minuses. And I've, and I've always said that to Dylan. I've always said, I really hope if they I, – I knew the Cowboys were good. good. Yeah, the Cowboys were good this year. I knew they were going to make it in the playoffs. I said, please don't get the number one seed because that one week off is, is just a curse. We saw that San Francisco uh, – who was it last year? Was San Francisco number one last year? I guess so, because I heard mm, something. I can't remember if they were number one or not, but they, but they lost. They beat Dallas, so they definitely didn't lose in the divisional round. Hmm. They and lost in the. They had to have lost in the conference game because right. they lost to Philly. Yes, they lost to Philly. But that team was riddled with injury. That's true. There's no Christian McCaffrey. There was no Brock Purdy. Well, there Brock were, Purdy got hurt last year. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The year that they went on to uh, lose to Philly as well, though, Purdy was out. Um, multiple people out. They didn't have McCaffrey yet, did they? No. Or did they just get him? New- so I, there I was, like, remember. multiple injuries. They had a, a lot of injuries. So if they were a fresh team, it would have been different. But I would argue, what's the sample size? We've seen this for... Couple, yeah, a couple years. Yeah, no, I mean, that's and that's a valid point. That is a valid point. That's my only caveat to all because I agree there's a potential, but I think if you're, like... The, if you just think of it, like, remove yourself from all of that, and you're a team that's going on to win, you played 17 games, and you've yes, been dominant, you got that first place, there Sorry, you, I, I think I a week sorry. off could be very beneficial Cancels and if trouble. you use it the right way. Right. Clearly, some people haven't, but that 49ers team didn't go on to lose the very next week. They made it and played against Philly and lost, but they were also a damaged team. True. Um, this year, Philly looks terrible. Going into the playoffs, they looked really good. They went they went ten and one, and then the last five games, I think they went yeah. one and four or something. Yeah, yeah. So they've just flip flop towards it. This is a bad time of the year to get cold. Um, so yeah, there is a, you, you lose that momentum. Yeah, yeah. yes. And that's a and, thing that that first bye week could. Everybody else is playing. They're staying hot. You could lose momentum. You could cool down. And that's what you could. And, or and, or you, you recover. Get just, you know, you're just you just going to recover and then. Beat the shit because you get I saw much that, needed rest. Yeah, because uh, I've seen here. You see, Kansas was the first one last year, and Philadelphia was the first one, both. And then they get to the final, right? Yes. Oh, oh, Philly the, and Kansas City were both the number one seed. Yes. Yeah. Over last here. year. Yeah, last okay. year. Well, they played in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's so that's that, my point of Philadelphia, and it's always the last team, right? So because there are three games, Kansas six City. games, just like this year. Yeah. That is not so, good supporting evidence for Conrad. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but this is just one year. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. So I, I, this statistic is too oh, short. It's good for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. you're. Yeah. He said he was going to shit on me. Think, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I think it was a year before. Man, I'm discounting that two dollars to two cents again. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> well, let me say this. On another thought. Yeah. It's not two dollars anymore. It's two cents back. <laughs> it's it's almost one p. Go yeah. get that number one seed. You might make it to the Super Bowl. God damn. But no, what what uh, wasn't it the year before? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I George, you're pulling it up. I can pull it up. When I get it. What, what what are we looking at? Because uh, what Wikipedia. did the Cowboys? The Cowboys were the number one seed. Wikipedia NFL. No I just put it NFL NFL playoffs, and then it's gonna be like year after year yeah. after year after year NFL playoffs yeah. wiki. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I know I'm bringing this conversation down a rabbit hole. I apologize. There you go. Yeah. So there, this is the one I. Which year is it? That's the one you were just looking at, right? Um, no, no, no. This this is just uh, showing how it works. Yeah. This yeah. isn't even any teams associated. This is wild card one, divisional interval. So to answer, we never even answered Hilton's question of what is a wild card. Mm-hmm. card. So. Um, there used to only be two extra spots. So there's four divisions in each conference. So out of all four of those divisions, there would be one division leader in first place and all those. So out of those, they automatically make it to the playoffs. There used to only be two spots left. So out of all of the remainders, it would be the top players that were left, or the top teams, rather, that were left. And so those teams would be considered wild cards because you didn't know... If they're gonna win, you didn't know what was gonna happen. It's like uh, because of like the wild card in Uno. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah, all the Pick way. Pick any color. Yeah, all the way down to the very last game, you still some scenarios could have happened, and then you don't know if they would have made it. Yeah. Or not. They exactly. weren't good enough to win their division, but they were good enough to stay relevant and go into the playoffs. So they're a wild card. They yes. could go on to win the whole thing. We don't know enough about this team to yes. completely rule them out or to say they're going to win the whole thing. They're a wild card. It's just a term. And um, then, and you said momentum. Uh, streaks, streak winnings, you know, there are so many other elements going on. Yes. Right? I'm just going to look at a random sample year. Yeah. Because this doesn't really show... Yeah, the other years doesn't show the Click down you know, on the, the divisional brackets. playoff and see if, it, if you could do a wild card. Yeah. But it's not showing me the... Um, the number one seed number that one lost seeds. on the second. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Let's see, 20... Usually when you look up bracket, it'll show you the actual seedings. Yes. But yeah. this one's not. Let's yeah. see. I guess I should say NFL. Might be helpful. Wiki's fine. I just... That was the year Tampa won. Yeah. So... Let's see. Here. So who are, who would have been the number one seed uh, of the Reds and uh, the the Blues? And um, so right here, Buffalo. No, Kansas City. It's always the last one. The last one. Kansas Buffalo. City and, and Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. Exactly. So see, Green Bay didn't play. Kansas City didn't play. Kansas City goes on to the Super Bowl. Green Bay got knocked out in the championship game against Tampa. So the yeah. very night they got this week off. Then they played and they won considerably, thirty-two to eighteen. Wasn't even yes. a close game. And then they got beat by Tom Brady. Yes. Okay. And then Tom Brady goes to play the Chiefs and Mahomes. And Mahomes had the number one seed. They win. They win. They make it to the Super Bowl and they lose, obviously, to Tom Brady. So, but having the number one seed—that's two examples of where the number one seed twice. It's the same team though, and that might be an outlier. Mahomes is gonna be a baller you know? yeah yeah so maybe that's an outlier so what this is the first uh the first year they did it that way though okay wait 2020 that 20, was 20 try 2021 yeah. yes i tried that i didn't i couldn't yeah there you go over there you see over there down there look under nfl yes so you go left and right first. oh okay cool that's much better okay um wow so yet again there we go you have green bay Number one. Number one seed. Why do I not remember this? With Aaron Rodgers, and then you have Tennessee as the number one down here. Tennessee loses first game. Green Bay loses Lose first, first so game. There, yeah. So there there's out of the four years, this is the fourth year. Uh, let me one see. time it's happened. Instead of two cents, you got a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's... 33%. Out of out of three opportunities, it's happened once. Man, yeah. Let me tell you something. But that's a considerable, 33% is considerable. Let me tell you why, so me tell you why I, I said that. Right. Why right. I looked for that and I said that. What happened to me when I follow my rules on our on our picks? It's always 11, 10. You see that I picked up 11. And play home. Play home. But when I decided to go wild, I yeah, scored, you scored I, I did six. Yeah. 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 But... But because then, I have my system, you know, like it works 70% of the time, 75% of the time, even though you don't know anything Sex because you're this playing. Is... Why? Because there's a book, there's a book called The Numbers Game. There's a book I recommend, The Numbers Game. Yeah. If you guys are into a li just learn a little bit about soccer and how the numbers work. Yeah. That's the book. You're going to read it in, man, in, in days because. What's it's addicting. The, 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 num the numbers book. Basketball, uh, Brad Pitt, Jonah Moneyball. Hill. Moneyball. Moneyball. Yeah, I read the Moneyball too. With you baseball. read? It? Yeah. That to me is an amazing that book story of numbers. That great book the yeah. Moneyball. There's a movie with Brad Pitt that just, just mentioned. That. And yeah. Jonah Hill. The book's yeah. probably better, but the movie. Yeah. There's a lot of things visuals. that was done because of the actors. It's all based on a true story. You know, but yeah. the story itself? There is a story in England in soccer that is similar to that. Yeah. Fine. Um, okay, let's go to the playoffs. Yes. Uh, starting us off, we have the Cleveland Browns at the Houston Texans. This has a storyline because the Houston Texans had the quarterback Deshaun Watson, big um, 
Oh, yeah. That's Controversy right. came out. He was accused of inappropriately touching his massage therapists. Um, he had had multiple women come in to do private massages on him, and there were multiple allegations that came out that he had been acting inappropriately and touching them and doing stuff. So he... He, he was thinking that they were balls instead of... Uh, yeah, he was just training beings. for the season. Yeah. That's what it was, for sure. Um, nothing ever came out, and... All of those cases were either settled or dropped, whatever. Um, I'm really yeah. not here to talk about any of that. Yeah. It's more of that happened. And that caused, he was a big player for Houston, and they just wanted to get rid of the, the dirty laundry. So okay. they, I'm write it down. that's a really good, start writing stuff down. They gave him to, uh, to Cleveland, and Cleveland paid a huge amount of money, like a lot of money for this Way guy. Way overpaid him. And then he was hurt. He couldn't play all last year. He came in towards the end, didn't do much. Everyone said, eh, whatever, we'll see him next year. He comes in and plays this year. He had some some highs, some lows. His lows weren't that low, but he had some highs. And then he got injured, and he's done. So that's the storyline there. This is the first time they're meeting, and Cleveland is going back to Houston. Houston's hosting the game. Um, that That's pretty much all the information I have for you there. Houston has a rookie quarterback. Rookie Cleveland has a rookie head coach. Cleveland has like a veteran quarterback that came off off the couch in the middle of the season, and really it scares people because they know that he's done it before. He's won. He's so won a Super. He's Bowl. won a Super Bowl before with Baltimore, so he can do it. So they're scared. Um, Texans. There's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Texans. Um, this is this is the hardest game in my opinion because. I like both teams. I think it's going to be a very good game. But I'm going to go with the Browns. I'm going to go Browns. Um, it, do you want to go first or you want me to go? Sure, I can go. Yeah. I read a little bit, and I think that's going to be the upset. I think the only upset? No, yeah, I think the only upset I put it. No, there's one more. But, yeah, it's definitely the Browns are going to win. Which is against usually my predictions yeah. at home, but um, I feel that in this case. I really wanted to count Cleveland out all year, and they've continued to like kind of impress me. And same with Houston. I never give Houston any flowers. Um, another team inside of a, the same state that I support. You know, they're on, Texans could play the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. They're in different conferences, so... Good. Rooting for them to win it doesn't do anything, but I never root for them. That comment that is had. I'm gonna go for Cleveland. The Browns, right? Okay. Right? So I'm, I'm the, Browns. the only one, so I'm not. We're not sweeping it. No. What but the Browns by uh, it's like the billionaire that actually cares about the team. Because if you remember the some of the first podcasts we're talking about the Browns. Oh, some billionaires that don't care. They can, you know. Whatever. If you watch back some of the podcasts, uh, you mentioned the Browns, like those are like really rich guy that owns the team, and they could just call it whatever name. Was it the Browns? I think it was. Yeah, it was the Br- well, but that they that's named it a, after a head coach. Or something? Yeah, they named it after a head coach. Jim Brown, or yeah, and then you said that the B, yeah, it was something. a billionaire guy that owned the team, and that they didn't care much about football. If they wouldn't care much about football, not that you said that they didn't. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But apparently they actually do because they're in the playoffs. Well, yeah, they're just riddled with a bad history and past of terrible ownerships, terrible head coaching, terrible. They've never even made an appearance at the at a Super Bowl before. No. Not that they've gone and lost. They've never even made it to a Super Bowl. Okay. Never. Okay. We have the Miami Dolphins at the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, my my team, Dolphins for me. Okay. You're going to go Dolphins? Well, I have quite a few of my teams in there. The storyline on this game doesn't really affect do. anything. It's just interesting. Every This is where everybody says the NFL scripted because every single one of these games has an interesting storyline the way that the two teams matched up. Um, Kansas City had Tyreek Hill. Their cap was really high. They probably weren't going to be able to pay him what he wanted, and he's essentially like one of the best wide receivers in the entire league. Top two, top three for sure. And he's going to get a huge contract. They weren't going to be able to pay him and pay Patrick Mahomes and pay Travis Kelsey and pay the offense and pay guys. So they let go of him. They 
sent him over to Miami. In the past two seasons, he's had over 1,700 yards, played, like, amazing. And now they're hosting the Miami Dolphins and Tyreek Hill for a playoff game. <coughs> so It's a payback game. It is yes. somewhat of a payback game for, for Tyreek. And it's like a defense game for, for Kansas City. Like, did we make the right choice? They've couple, already gone far without him before. But A couple of things that are going to play a factor into here. Weather. Kansas City is a terrible, terrible place to play in. Did you read about what's going on this weekend there? No. Um, this should be the coldest game in the history of the NFL. Really? Oh, and the Dolphins, uh, Miami, right? Is yes. not used to the warm That's sunny Missouri. Weather. Oh, yeah. G- G- Friday. Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I do the another thought? You can. <laughs> I was always going to go. I think now that it's the playoffs is the time. We all let you guys pick. The I'll, Chiefs yeah. finally turned I'll, up I'll, in the playoffs. I'll re-pick in the end. The Dolphins, to me, um, their record's okay. They're, out of all the teams here, they're probably – Maybe minus the Buccaneers. and They're one of the biggest fraud teams here with that record, at least. They come in looking like a dominant team that's 11-6, but they don't always play like they're an 11-6 team. They um, do have some injuries, in all fairness. They do have quite a few injuries. So, it'll be an interesting game. They're on the road. It's going to be really freaking cold. That doesn't work in their favor. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, regardless of any of that, I would have always picked the Chiefs just because in the playoffs they've been dom- they've been there every year so far, basically. Uh, minus 2021. 2020, they went. 2021, the Titans went. Last year, they went and won. So, my pick is the Chiefs for this game. Man, when one of the potential GOATs are in the dispute in a game like this, and also with the popularity of Taylor Swift. I think the Chiefs are going to win. You know, so since uh, the the NFL is scripted, uh-huh. uh, I think they want to keep uh-huh. Taylor Swift and all this uh, her eight hundred million followers connected because n- zero Taylor Swift to, uh, Swift fans follow uh, football. No. Now millions of them only follow. They they just root for the Chiefs, so yeah. I think they are going to go very far. Been very a little far. bit of a talking point with the sportscasters. Are they going to play with the other uniform with the old logo? Probably not. No, okay. Probably which is not. a shame. That'd be pretty. Um, cool. But I, the NFL has definitely made a point to broadcast more Taylor Swift content. Of course, bring yeah. in. I have my reasons. I told you I prepare here with reasons. Why don't you come in? Yeah. As much as it hurts my heart, I do think I'm going to go with the Chiefs because I really, really just do not like them. I do not like Taylor Swift. I like the music, but I don't like the atten- I don't like the NFL doing attention or type thing. I, uh, they're, they're, it's like come I understand on. it, but I wish they wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I don't like seeing the same teams win over and over and over and over and over. And over. That's why you start to hate on teams like the Patriots with Tom Brady. And it's not because Tom Brady's not the GOAT and they weren't a great team. You just get so tired of seeing them win all the fucking time. So it's okay when they make it. Last year, if they would have lost to the Eagles, I would, those are my division rivals. I would have celebrated them winning. Just And I was rooting for them the whole game. They just weren't able to make it happen. I just think the Chiefs will probably win this game. It would be cool. The Dolphins deserve to go. They've had a, a great season. And they were uh, on another thought. I'm going to go, look at that, I am going to go with the Dolphins because I'm a logo person and the logo of the Dolphins is much better. But you see, man, you know what, and it makes me so happy you say that, and I'm going to be rooting for the Dolphins this week. You'll see. I will accept that. I'm I'm rooting for the Dolphins. Yeah. I think they've been on hard knocks this year. I actually really love their head coach. Yeah. I like their culture. I just don't think they're going to win at all. But I hope, I'm rooting for them. Okay. It's an emotional hedge to pick up um, the the Chiefs, you know, because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because then if they lost, it's fine. Dolphins go through. So I'm going to be okay with this. Yeah. So I'm okay with losing this point. If it does, if it does happen, I'm like, you know what? I'll yeah. call Hilton. I'll tell him, hey, yeah. good, good pick. Yeah, good pick. that's why I, throughout the regular season, like I was so comfortable picking Philly so often because it's like it's a win-win. Like either I get it right, 
or they lose and I'm happy. Yeah. So whatever. I'm the buildos. Buildos. <laughs> I love that you remembered that. Yeah. I'm the Bills on Disney. I'm also on the Bills. I'm also not 100 percent convinced that that's a shoe when they win this game either. Bills, so. Bills, Bills. TJ Watts out. I want to. We want TJ Watt right? suit up. We want popularity, right? Up? So we want this no, sport. Uh, is he's, it a big market? Bo- he's Buffalo Bills. Like a, uh, no, it's not. It's not a big market. It's Ooh. becoming one mm-hmm. because of the players they've signed and because they've started to do well. Yes. I mentioned this. A couple weeks ago, where the Bills used to be like a nobody team, nobody. Uh-huh. Bills, Browns. Bill supporters loved them, but that was it. Everybody laughed at the Bills. Um, ever it, since it, it's been Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs used to be with Minnesota, and they brought him in, and they they got better, competitive. Uh, Josh Allen really was bad his first year, or two years from Wyoming, and then he just started playing really well, and he's really coming to his own. He's a bigger guy, so he runs over people. He's one of those quarterbacks you got to look out for. He's not the fastest, but you got to look out for runs, for passes. He's accurate. They do a lot of movement off the line, shifting. They, they're a good team, but they weren't always like this. So I don't. I think the market is growing, mm-hmm. more attention on them, but it, it used to be a very small market. One more reason to go with them. I, I have quite a few friends from New York. You're either a Jets fan or a Giants fan. Okay, a Jets, I would say. Unless you're from Buffalo or from yes. like the inside of New York State, the interior of it, then... Then you might be a, a Bills fan, maybe, but it's a very small. <laughs> Who roots for the Nets? Everybody roots for the Yankees. Yankees. Yeah, you know, like you know, what I'm saying, like it's yeah. all Yankee, Yankees, and Knicks. The they Knicks. have their own sports, you know. They so, have their own. Inter- but you know what's what I'm funny about all of that is the Giants and the Jets play at the same stadium yep. in New Jersey. Yep. So the only actual team in New York is Buffalo. That's in true. the state of New York, they're upstate, but they're Ironic. the only team that's actually in the state. Let right, me say right, something. Right. I need to pee so bad, Max. Get this thing through. Okay. <laughs> We're so over next... it, by the way, as well. We do need to wrap it up. We're over it. Okay. So next game. That was also the only game with no storyline. Okay. Um, Packers at Cowboys. I'm going to take the Cowboys. Um, the head Cowboys. coach for the Cowboys used to be the head coach for the Packers. He was fired and came to Dallas. So it's another revenge game. Cowboys. We're all yeah. probably on the Cowboys. Well, we have Rams at Lions. The star. They start for me. This is the, the lion to me. The biggest. Not, what, how do you do the stars? How do the the the, the, the cowboys symbol? Because uh, I think you know they want to do Washington. They do like these, right? I don't know how you would do a star. But I star. So I'm cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. The cowboys are for okay. lions. Lions, lions and buy, Lakers. Uh, you gotta buy a cowboy hat. Yeah. Lions and Lakers. This is actually, out of all of them, the biggest storyline. The, these two quarterbacks got traded for each other because one was thought that he could never win. The other went on to win the Super Bowl that year. So it's very – Matt Stafford of the Rams is coming back to his home, Detroit Lions. And um, I think the stadium and everybody banned his jersey. There's been talks of they were banning Stafford's jersey because he used to play for the Lions. Now. And then, really? Uh, Detroit so. needs a win. The worst basketball team in Leo. history. It's uh, the worst campaign. It's another, another of my team, which so is they need Lions. It. They, yeah. need this. they need to be the Lions or your Lions. Lions? We're all Lions. That's another Lions sweep. sweep yeah. But, you know, Lions is, my, is, one, is another one of my teams. So for next right. year, I have to pick one team and stick with it. Right? Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. our last I had to game. start supporting a team. Yeah. yeah you got to pick one team. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This hold is, on, hold on. This is the Eagle against the Buccaneers. Oh, okay. This is my upset of the week. I'm taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, I'm going to go with the Eagles. No, no, no. <laughs> Dylan, this is a bird supporting podcast, <laughs> <Yeah>. my friend. <laughs> bird, bird. I hope those birds go to hell. Yeah, I know why. But yeah. I will pluck those birds, and I will oil and tar and feather them right the hell back up. And tie them. Wouldn't you cook them? Fuck no. You think I'd eat that shit bird? <laughs> <laughs> let, you should let the Broncos, right? The, the most. Uh, oh, I'd rather eat team. Bronco. Yeah. Than any, you fucking kidding me? That's, I, I had, I That's had, poison. I had horse food in Italy. Just, you know, also, a future podcast. But I'm so American, birds. I would never shit on a bald eagle like that. 
But the Philadelphia Eagles, no way. Yeah. No way. They, right. they don't deserve, you don't honor that animal by eating it afterwards. You just kill it and throw it in the ditch. <laughs> All right. So, you, so who's your pick? <laughs> Mine? <laughs> the Eagles? I'm, 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 words. I'm, I'm going to be the odd man out on this one. All right. So take a picture and put it in our group because I want to follow this weekend. So I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I answered you, for you, but yeah. you, I just assumed everybody was going to yeah, yeah you know, keep camp it. Eagles. Yeah, keep it. Keep it. You don't want the point. How many and sweeps? I don't want I don't want the Eagles. Two so, sweeps. Two sweeps. Yeah. Well, Three s- sweeps, sorry. Three sweeps. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Lions, Cowboys, Bills. I went two against. So I, I could be on the uh, It would have been four if I just picked the Eagles. Right. So I'm gonna be the heel for that two less points then. Yep. Um You'll be the heel for the Dolphins. I'm the heel for the Eagles. You are nobody's heel. You are nobody's. I'm yeah. the heel for Texas as well. And the Texans. He's doing two. He's really putting himself out there. Yes. And, uh, of course, I'm playing my, I'm gotta back support to my, my logo. I, I got to support my logos. I think you could be a Texans fan. I really think you could. Yeah. Do or Cowboys. So? Either Texas teams. Yeah, I could see it happening. Dylan would uh, send me a letter of resignation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. You picked against the Cowboys this year. <laughs> once. Uh, I picked once, and he then I lost. Forgets. You're kicked out of the fan club. And he never and, and, Are we and, good? Uh, and I lost, yeah. I lost a point because of that. So right. we, don't, we don't spite our teams in Dallas. We might yes. do that shit in Seattle. We might do that shit anywhere. We don't do it in Dallas. That's do, you not also, do. do you also support the Mavericks? Yes. All right. And I also support the Rangers yeah, over the Rangers. Astros, uh-huh. who just won. Sorry, right. Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, that's it, right? That's All it. Right. Sorry about you. Take us out. Take us out. All right, another uh, another tantalizing podcast here. <laughs> what? Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment your picks, who you think are going to win. Let us know about the Dolphins. I'm I I'm. I'm kicking myself for picking the Chiefs. I might, I might change it here before the game. It's never too late, and you, you know what? Be an interesting. Opportunity. Leave in the comment section who are the two teams that are going to make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. If you put it in early enough, we may or may not do a giveaway. I don't know. Just and just if you watch, there. yeah, if you watched all of these episodes and didn't uh, subscribe to the channel yet, how dare you? Please hit that subscribe <laughs> button. It's free. And, and yeah, it's, it is what? free. Is it free? It is. Oh, free. man. Just go down there. You started waving the fees, Hilton. Yes. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. It gives a like. Sorry. Give us a like. We hey. just eat it. Sorry. And recommend your friends. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Share the content out and uh, give us the support. Yeah. Find somebody to watch it with. It could be something you do on a weekly occasion. You sit down and you put on Puff Drink, talk with your loved one. And you listen yeah. to us ramble yeah, exactly. on about nonsense. <laughs> yes. What sounds more fun than that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. We love you.